This is the wall section module. It actually shows you what is behind your wall and then the proper ways to seal that. Now, unfortunately, most of this should have been done during new construction, so you can't, in an existing home, go back and take the drywall out and do this type of sealing. It's really not cost effective. But when a home is built, all of these electrical penetrations that lead to these outlets, the holes are larger than they need to be to get the wire through. So on this one, it was not properly sealed. This one has foam sealant at the top, at the ceiling, and at the floor. So it's properly sealed. And again, this one is completely open. I'm going to turn a fan on to kind of simulate what could happen. Notice how the ball immediately rose to the top. And on this one, we had no air movement whatsoever. And that's simply due to this foam sealant that was done properly when the home was built. And while you can't go in and retrofit what's behind the wall, you can go to your electrical outlets and do something there, especially the ones that are on the outside wall in the winter. You can actually feel the cold air out of those outlets. So there's a couple of things that we can do. One is to actually turn the breaker off for safety reasons, remove the screws from the outlets and the switches on your outside wall, and then purchase these foam gaskets from any hardware store, install them here, put the plate back on, and between that and having devices plugged in, you will totally stop that air infiltration. And coming back over here to this chart, it's only 2% and it can add to comfort in your home. The other major source, floors, walls, and ceilings, 31%. Now, if this was done during new construction, that probably wouldn't be the case. But because most homes don't have that, it's a high infiltration source. And you can help control some of that by installing these gaskets and it will help make your house more comfortable.